Good morning, everyone. Can we do greater works than these, greater works than Jesus? We can, and we will. Now, I know that that sounds a little bit crazy, but it's important to understand what Jesus was saying and what Jesus was not saying. Okay? So let's take a look at the gospel and try and unfold this. Greater works than these. Um, well, at this point, he had raised Lazarus from the dead. Have any of you raised somebody from the dead? All of our medical personnel, those people, EMTs, Doctors, nurses, I remember being called on the page or the code and we went down to the fifth floor at Parkland Hospital and this in person was there, they were coding, they put up the, uh, the actual uh, experience of what his heart was, was showing and we had just studied this in our internship. I said, that's, that's torsades, we need to push a gram of mag and the doctor said, push a gram of mag and we continued CPR, and we shocked him again, and he sat right up and said, Ow! <laughs> you know, I guess you get your heart shocked and you wake up, that's going to hurt. We gave him some pain medication. It was okay. All right. Yes, you bring somebody back to, to dead, you know, you might say, well, some physicians might say, uh, Jesus never did a Whipple. Uh, Jesus never transplanted a kidney. Jesus never fixed idiopathic hypertrophic subaortic stenosis. Okay, well, let's face it, we don't know what was wrong with Lazarus. Maybe he had all kinds of difficulties with his pancreas or his kidney or his heart or whatever, but we can definitely say this. Even in uh, the beauty of modern medicine, Jesus spoke to a person who was dead for four days and he was raised. Jesus is not talking about us raising somebody from the dead. He's not talking about bringing sight to the blind or making a person who can't speak speak or making somebody that can't walk walk. Those are an ama amazing things, but that that's not the greater works that he's talking about. If you listen to him, he's saying, uh, speaking about all of these things that he's done, you're going, you and I, are going to do greater things than these. Greater than making somebody walk, making somebody speak, making somebody see, bringing them back to life physically. What is it that we can do? All right, well, I'll put it this way. So all those things are in this category. Okay. There's one thing that Jesus hasn't done yet that's greater than these. And that thing you and I will do. See, what Jesus isn't saying, is he's not saying anything that I'll do, um, you're going to do greater. There's one thing that I'm going to do that you are going to participate in. You are going to join me in. And when you do, it's going to be greater than raising somebody from the dead physically. It's going to be greater than giving them sight or helping them to speak or helping them to walk again. You will do the greater work. What is it? Carrying his cross and laying down his life. Now, we've talked about this before. A perfect sacrifice, the fruit of a perfect sacrifice will bring forth eternal life offered towards all. But the greater work that he was talking about is us discerning what he has placed in our heart to give and carrying that cross day after day after day in its daily sacrifices. Some are great, some are small, some are in between. But it's the sacrifices that we make that bring forth eternal life in others. See, raising Lazarus from the dead stirred life in the faith 
of people. They began to believe in God. But the greatest work would be when we lay down our lives for others. And in that sacrifice, it brings forth life. Remember, a good sacrifice brings forth, the fruit of a good sacrifice brings forth life. The fruit of a great sacrifice brings forth eternal life in others. We celebrate secular holiday today, Mother's. And what does that look like? Mother who's willing to go through childbirth, the pains, the difficulties, even of a pregnancy, to bring forth life, to continue to, to feel that responsibility, to walk with them, to worry about their adolescent years, to be there and to hopefully cultivate a relationship where they begin to be honest with you no matter what. And then to get to that point, the most scary time in a mother's life when she needs to allow them to go their own path. Yep. To allow them to, to follow God's path for their life. such a great sacrifice that we have. You can see it in the life of a priest who sets aside the things that he could do and says, Lord, I will go where you want me to go. I'll do what you want me to do. I'll be who you want me to be. You've placed in my heart to give and to love as a priest, and I freely give it to you. And it brings forth life. We see a beautiful motherhood in religious sisters and consecrated life. When they have said, no, I am, I am Christ's alone. I am the bride of Christ. I manifest, you know, the church's love and the church's presence. There's one marriage in heaven, remember. The bridegroom and the bride, his church. And religious sisters manifest that in a physical way here. They remind us that we'll all be in union with Christ in a most profound way. And they say, I am Christ's completely now. Yes, you're going to do these works and greater works than these. You're going to do these works that will stir faith, but it, really it's, it's discerning our vocation and laying ourselves down. It goes right back to last week. I've come that you might have life and have it abundantly, times two. When we discern our vocation, when we take possession of ourselves, when we make good or great sacrifices, we bring forth life or eternal life in others and in ourselves. It's times two. When we say yes to God and we're willing to enter our, the cr carrying of the cross and being crucified in Christ. The result and the fruit of that is life and life eternal. Can we do greater works than raising somebody from the dead, giving them sight, helping them to speak, helping them to walk again? Yes. Yes, we can. We can bring a realization that they are loved by us and loved by God. And it brings forth life and life eternal in them. Greater works? Yes, we can.